1340-96.5, heard around the world, kvgcradio.com. It is seven minutes after the hour of seven o'clock. Time for a look at the news for a Tuesday, the fifth day of September for 2017. A Lockford man drowned in the waters of Lake Comanche over the holiday weekend. According to Amador Undersheriff Jim Wagner, the Sheriff's Dispatch Center received a call on Sunday that 55-year-old Jose Garcia of Lockford had possibly drowned in the Deuce Cove. According to family members, they were playing catch in the lake in about three to four feet of water. And as the family began wading back to shore, Garcia disappeared. Garcia was later found by another group of swimmers approximately 75 feet from shore in shallow water. Medics began life-saving measures until all efforts were exhausted and the man was pronounced dead. Wagner says an autopsy will be conducted to determine the cause and manner of the man's death. Amador fire crews were called out around 6 o'clock Sunday morning to a reported vehicle fire. According to reports from the scene, the truck and trailer fire was along Highway 88 near Red Corral Road. When crews arrived, the big rig was fully involved. As a precaution, the highway was closed down in both directions as crews battled the fire. At one point, the blaze extended into the nearby vegetation but was contained to about a quarter of an acre. Fire crews had the blaze knocked down by 630 no injuries were reported, and the highway was reopened a short time later. And Sunday evening, Amador fire crews were called out to a reported structure fire in the Jackson Valley. When first responders arrived, they discovered the fire was on the porch of the home and that the homeowner was attempting to put it out. Firefighters were able to assist and extinguish the fire before it spread to the nearby vegetation. Firefighters remained on the scene with mop-up operations for about two hours. No injuries or serious damage to the home were reported. The cause is under investigation. And the Amador County Environmental Health Department issued a press release over the weekend warning of naturally occurring radioactivity in local water wells. According to the Environmental Health Department, radioactive materials occur irregularly in California's bedrock and when dissolved in water, radionuclides are colorless, odorless, and tasteless. Unlike community water systems, private wells in California are not routinely regulated or monitored for contaminants like radionucleoids. As a result, well owners are responsible for ensuring their drinking water is safe. Recently, radionucleoid levels were found in excess of the state accepted levels in a well drilled for a small community water system to the east of Jackson. In response to this, the Amador County Environmental Health Department performed a voluntary sampling program of private wells in the vicinity of the community well. Some of the water wells sampled were found to have radium above the drinking water accepted levels. There is technology available for removing radionucleoids from drinking water, but treatment requires ongoing maintenance and monitoring to ensure proper performance. If you're interested, you can contact the Amador County Environmental Health Department for a list of laboratories in our area that do testing, or you can always visit the county's website. And the Foothill Conservancy invites everyone to join them for the 2017 McCallamy River cleanup on Saturday, September 16th, from 8.30 until noon. The event will focus on the McCallamy's Electra Run south of Jackson. Now for more information, visit foothillconservancy.org or call Carolyn at 223-3508. And Caltrans has a number of paving projects planned both day and night this week. First on the list, one-way traffic control will be in effect on eastbound and westbound Highway 16 from Highway 49 to the sacramento Amador County line for paving operations. Work will begin Wednesday and run through Friday from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Look for one-way traffic control on east and westbound Highway 88 from Tragedy Springs to Silver Lake Campground for striping Wednesday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. More striping work scheduled during the evening with one-way traffic control on east and westbound Highway 88 from Jackson Creek to Silver Drive Wednesday through Friday from 7 to 6. Finally, Caltrans will have one-way traffic control in effect on eastbound and westbound Highway 88 from Wagon Wheel Drive to Sugar Pine Drive for drainage work today through Friday almost round the clock from 8 p.m. 
until 3 p.m. 8 p.m. until 3 p.m. You heard me right. Motorists should expect 10 to 15 minute delays on all of these projects and alternate routes should be taken whenever possible. And today's the final day to uh, register for uh, early registration for the Jug and Rose race. $25 is the early registration fee. Runners and walkers can drop by the theater at the Amador High School and fill out an entry form before the end of school today to get that $25 rate. Race day registration is $30 and is set for Saturday, 7 o'clock in Volcano Park. The non-competitive event follows at 7.15. Open walk set at 7.30. The run is scheduled for 8 o'clock. For more information, contact Amador High Drama today at 267 267- Zero one zero eight, and that's a look at local news for a Tuesday, the fifth day of September for 2017 from the KVGC newsroom. I'm Jim Geedy reporting. Local news brought to us today by Gold Country Auto Clinic and by Howard's Body Shop.